everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Paleontologists have discovered an extinct species of primate that existed before the divergence of lesser apes and great apes. The specimen of the new species, which has been named Pleobates catalaniae, was discovered in 2011 at an excavation site in Catalonia, Spain. The researchers at Catalan Institute of Paleontology who have been studying the specimen have nicknamed it Laia. It's estimated that Laia lived 11.6 million years ago. She has features common to both small-bodied or lesser and large-bodied or great apes, making her the first primate of her size to exhibit such traits. Laia lived a few million years too late to have been the last common ancestor to modern lesser and great apes. Nevertheless, her discovery has caused researchers to reevaluate some accepted assumptions about primate evolution. For instance, it's generally been assumed that the last common ancestor of the lesser and great apes was fairly large, but Laia was the size of a small gibbon. The paper on the discovery of Laia and its implications for our understanding of primate evolution is published in the journal Science. Next up, researchers in Australia have designed a silicon chip that would be compatible with a quantum computer. A team that includes scientists from the University of New South Wales and the University of Melbourne has created the blueprint for a silicon chip that operates using quantum bits, or qubits, arranged in a three-dimensional architecture that should allow for error correction and enable the building of a large-scale quantum computer. You'll notice that I'm speaking of possibilities here. That's what quantum computing at this point is, just a possibility. But the significance of this work is that it resolves that possibility into focus. The Australian team believes this research provides a roadmap from here to a quantum computer. Thanks to their work, we know what needs to be done. Now it's just a matter of doing it. The paper on the quantum computer silicon chip is published in the journal Science Advances. And finally, researchers in Buffalo, New York, are developing new battery-free pacemakers that would draw their power from a surprising source. Earlier this year, wireless pacemakers made headlines. Now, yet another big step forward for this technology could be coming. Engineers at the University of Buffalo School of Engineering and Applied Sciences are working on a pacemaker that uses a piezoelectric device to convert vibrational energy from the heart into electrical power. Yes, this pacemaker would be powered by the very heartbeats it regulates. A heart-powered pacemaker would eliminate the need for patients to undergo additional procedures every so often to replace the batteries in their devices. Designs for a battery-free, heart-powered device date back to the 1960s, but it wasn't until recently that technology existed to make such things possible. An 11 million year old fossil skeleton challenges conventional thinking about primate evolution. Researchers design a silicon chip that could enable the building of quantum computers and engineers design a pacemaker that would be powered by the heart. That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already, and also consider helping me to make more videos like this by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.